dollars and 67 cents for electricity. $142.95 for gas. We boil our water and we pop our popcorn in the microwave. How could the gas be so high? A gas bill includes hot water. Cass, come here. $142.95 for hot water? Are we hydraulically powering the entire neighborhood? I drink a lot of tea. Would you put that down and listen to me? You mean your clean freak cousin with his free shower a day habit is wasting all of his hot water? That's what you mean, isn't it? What does he think? Money comes out of a faucet? I have a witness to Jake's shooting. You have what? Good. Now that I have finally gotten your attention, let me rephrase that. I have a witness who saw a woman leaving Jake's building the night he was shot. Why didn't he come forward before? I don't know that yet, but he was walking his dog and he saw a woman run out of the building. This could be great. What yeah. time was it? Uh, he, he wasn't exact. He gave a range. And the time of the shooting falls into that range? Yeah. You told me to testify. Frankie. Yeah? Who did he see? Now, where did you get this information? On my police scanner. Ryan Harrison was talking about evidence in this case on a police radio? Oh, no, it wasn't him. It was the dispatcher. She was giving a policeman some news. And Jamie really found a bug in calling his cell phone. Oh, why? I, and now the, the police are wondering why he was eavesdropping on someone that he was involved with. I mean, I really never thought that Jake would... Well, I don't know. People surprise me. I mean, every day people surprise me. <laughs> well, shall I help Angela and, and get the uh, milk and the cookies for uh, Stephen? Hmm? Come yeah. here. Donna, what are you doing? Yes, but... So I thought if, if Jake was bugging Paulina, then he could have been doing the same thing here. Why? What do you mean, why? Well, what could Jake possibly hope to gain by bugging our phone? I don't know, but if he was bugging Paulina, who's to say that he wasn't doing the same thing with Marley? Donna, this whole thing is getting way out of hand. Well, at least this phone is, is fine. Well, what, if it ha what if it hadn't have been? Then I would have called the police. How's your hand? I don't know. I, I'm not going to do any more chopping wood at the farm for a while, I can tell you that. Actually, I was going to go see the doctor. Uh, you want to go with me? No, I want to check the other phones in the apartment. Donna, wait a minute. And Jake had no reason to bug the phones in this apartment. What could Jake possibly think he'd find out that he could use against us? Iris? Are you serious? Barry, did you do it? on earth would I know about bugging somebody's phone? You've always said that you wanted to prove Paulina a fraud. Well, that doesn't include donning coveralls and breaking into your home with a little electronics kit. No, I figured you'd job it out. Well, did it ever occur to you that somebody else might have it in for Paulina? Who? Oh, this is absurd. I don't think so. I think it follows a certain amount of logic. Why is that? Tapping someone's phone is illegal. One naturally thinks of you. Thank you, Rachel. Although I must say I can't blame you. If I was in your place, I'd probably assume the same thing. I have pulled the odd devious trick in my time to get what I wanted, goodness knows. Oh, I don't think goodness has anything to do with it. Did you do it? No, I did not. But I must say I wish I'd have thought of it first. <laughs> Better not be lying to me, Iris. I'm not. Sorry to bother you. Bye, Rachel. Bye, Lizzie. Now that that's over, where were we? Why did you lie to Rachel? Oh, for heaven's sake, don't you start. Iris, you were very curious about that uh, surveillance equipment I bought to use with Marius. In fact, you even asked me for one of the bugs. Did I? You know you did. Let the police get it. Trace it back to me. Then what are we going to do? So, 
This dog walker sees a blonde coming out of Jake's building, right? But he can't tell if it's Vicky or Marley? Right. I showed him pictures of both, and he said it could be either. Surprise, surprise. Or neither. Now, it, it does help poke another hole in that first witness's ID of Marley. Chris White? Yeah. Yeah, Vicky already took care of that. He can't tell a Vicky from a Marley either. But what if this blonde is another blonde? Then our suspect list grows while our checking account dwindles. So I missed this one. Oh, oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Afternoon. Lucas! See what you mean, Ryan? Mrs. Wheeler, I need to ask you a few more questions. Concerning? The shooting of Jake McKinnon and his fascination for surveillance equipment. Can you help me out? Peace offering. What's this? Tea. Chamomile, to be specific. I'm sorry I lost my temper, Frank. And I'm sorry I lost mine. But he is out of line. I have an idea of how we can talk about something else. I'll bet you do. Yeah, and um, you stayed home to work, so let's work. I don't want to talk about Bills or Dean or anything else for the rest of the day. Truce? Truce. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think that we can really piece together what happened the night Jake was shot, but... It's a little different, and I'm not sure you're going to go for it. Try me. Okay. We have three possible suspects aside from Marley. For the moment. Right, but we'll just focus on them for the time being. We have Vicky, Paulina, and Iris. Go on. We'll start with Iris. I'm Iris. And I must be Jake. I know it's a stretch, but... I'll give it my best shot. Okay. I have this really funny feeling about Iris... How so? Well, I, I think that she's holding back a major chunk of information. Well, knowing Iris, that would be a reasonable assumption. No, she, she swears up and down that she and Jake were just business associates. Right. And yet there's no business. Jake is telling the whole world he's making a video, but aside from the sophisticated project, there's no work. We know that. We also know that Jake was rolling in dough. Where did he get this money? Iris swears that it didn't come from her. <laughs> Iris would swear she was Davy Crockett if she thought it would keep her sweet tushy out of a jam. Um... Appropriately, if crudely put. Okay. Let's reenact that night. Let's say Iris went to see Jake. dress much more sexily than that. How do you know that? If she and Jake were involved... Whoa, she... whoa, where did that come from? Iris liked to go slumming, right? And Jake seems to have been catnip for the ladies. Right, okay. So, Iris was dressed for success. Iris is dressed for success. You haven't called. I call when I want you, and I don't. I could kill you for that. Cut. Not subtle enough. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, you're right. I'll tone it down. Um, I know you still want me. Face it, baby, it's over. I can ruin you, Jake. I can take away everything you have. Marley, your business. You may not want me, but you're addicted to my checkbook. Addicted to the checkbook. That was good. I like that. The thing is, is it true? Lucas, you don't have to stay. Oh, I don't mind. Unless Ryan does. Oh, no, I don't care. As long as I get my questions answered. Well, I don't know what this possibly has to do with me. I don't know. I'd like to find out. Well, uh, surveillance equipment. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. We found a bug in Paulina Corey's phone. Rachel told me. And? And? 
And we have reason to believe that he was wiretapping other people as well. Really? It's possible. Well, I just don't know what any of this has got to do with me. I understand that you fired Jake more than once. Well, I certainly gave him more chances than he deserved. Well, he was bugging his ex-girlfriend. It's very possible that he was doing the same to you. Why? Well, maybe because he was angry that you fired him. Oh, of course, yes. Do you mind if I uh, check your phone? Go right ahead. I don't believe it. Looks like Jake thought he could get something from you, too, Iris. Any idea what that might have been? I had no idea. Did Jake McKinnon ever try and blackmail you? Oh, no. He, he, he wouldn't have anything to, to blackmail me with. Kenan seemed pretty desperate. Maybe he was trying to get the inside dope at Corey Enterprises. There is no inside dope at Corey Enterprises. I know that, Iris, but Jake didn't. Did Jake ever... Well, did he ever surprise you with things that he knew? What do, what do you mean? Well, did he ever know things about your company or your personal life that he shouldn't have known? No, look, I, I, I hardly knew the man. Well, then how did he get in here and bug your phone? I don't know. I just know I wouldn't put anything past him. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, look, if, if you do find out who, who planted the bug, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know. I sure will. Good afternoon. Lucas? Ryan? <clears throat> what are you looking at me like that for? So you had him put the bug in Paulina's phone, and then he did the same to you. Now, wait a minute. I saw you. The night Jake was shot. So? You were out of it, Iris. You were really, really tense. What are you implying? The night Jake almost died in the hospital was the same night you came to me about buying some meaningless piece of art for cash with a backdated receipt. I told you it was for tax purposes. You were lying then and you're lying now. No! What is this all about, Iris? I tell you what it's all about. I think you're paranoid and you're hallucinating. You shot Jake, didn't you? And then when you found out he was alive, you went back to the hospital to finish the job. You did it, didn't you? Remember Paulina's party? Oh, a lot went down that night. Yeah, we'll do that when we do Paulina, but Iris, remember how drunk she got? Vividly. Yeah, so maybe it wasn't just that night. Maybe she's been drinking a lot. What's your point? Lucas broke up with her. Maybe it's because he knew she was having an affair with Jake. Nah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But maybe after breaking up with Lucas, it drove her to Jake and, and to the drinking. Okay, okay. So, let's say she was drunk that night. You swore we were in this together. In what together? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. You told me you loved me. I lied. You swore you would leave Marley. And you were dumb enough to believe me? Then what did you want from me? Why did you say you cared about me? I wanted me? your cash, Iris, and that's it. You're so pathetic. You made it so easy. I'll kill you. Right. Get out of my face, Iris, before I throw you out. she know where to find the gun? She could have known he had it. She, she could have gone through his things. I think we may have gone overboard. No, I don't, Cass. I really don't. I think it's possible. I wish our theory about Iris... It was provable, yes. Yeah. It'd be a lot easier if she talked. <laughs> Not 
likely in this century. No, it isn't. Maybe we should do the reenactment thing with the other suspect. Yeah, we could do that. Sure is uh, lucky both witnesses saw blondes. Why do you say that? Because if they hadn't, I don't know how we could narrow down the field in time to save Marley. I'm going to check with Angela, see if there are any messages from Marley or Victoria. Okay. Would you bring this up for me, please? Sure. Careful. Watch your hand. I will. Thank you. I don't believe this. You think ten people lived in this place? So we found bugs in three telephones. Iris Wheeler's, Paulina Corey's, and your girlfriend's. Sorry. I want to go over this place one more time, see if we can find any tapes. They're not here, man. I've been over this place with a magnifying glass. Yeah, well, maybe he's got a safety deposit box. We'd need a court order. Yeah, well, then we'd have to tip off the captain and the DA. Tapes sure would help nail somebody. Marley McKinnon, her sister... Yeah, but we might not find him in time. Especially if that guy never wakes up. What if we pretended that we found them? Oh, man. I know what you're thinking. Good idea, huh? You let it slip that you've got the tapes, then the woman who knows what's on him goes nuts and makes a mistake. And, and... we nail her. Pretty nifty, huh? You want to lose your job, don't you? You're crazy. You're completely crazy. Where are you going? To see Cass. Lucas, you can't.